Let's use the Exxon Mobile Swing Vision camera for a more detailed look at Morty Fish's backhand. I'm gonna draw a clock around him, which will help us to follow his swing path more easily. Having finished his backswing, Morty's racket head is pointed at 10 o'clock. From there, he starts dropping the racket down to half past 7. That's what you have to do when you wanna apply some topspin. Now he's attacking the ball, he turns beautifully around his spine angle and makes contact at a 3 o'clock position. That's the ideal contact point, by the way waist high and out in front of his body. Now it's important not to pull the racket up too early in order to get depth and control. Marty tries to extend his left arm and then he goes all the way up to the top. Past 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, the racket reaches the highest point at 12 o'clock and now he starts bending the elbow to finish around his right shoulder at 11 o'clock. While he makes good use of his large trunk muscles and shifts his weight beautifully towards the target area. And that are the key components for an aggressive backhand.